This is a three-station manifold to house three solenoid valves. We are using a manifold system which has a pre-installed O-ring. The nipple has been screwed into the valve. The O-ring seals the connection to prevent leaking. Screw into the manifold and hand tighten to ensure a watertight connection. The solenoid valve has two wires. They are an AC 24 volt system with a common and active wire. Being an AC, it doesn't matter which one is which. Before you commence wiring, you need to decide on the active wire being connected to the active cable and the common wires from each valve to connect to the controller. The active wires from each solenoid will be wired to the colour-coded active wires on the controller. The three remaining common wires are grouped together and connected to the common terminal on the controller. In some cases, you may need to use low voltage irrigation control cable to connect the solenoids to your controller. The cable consists of one outer protective sheet with six individual colour-coded wires. This makes it easier to identify different solenoids when the cable has run back to the controller. The colours can represent individual stations. A colour for station 1, 2 and 3 or as many solenoid valves as you require. For the common, we suggest nominating the black or a white to remain consistent with your common connections. The connections are done using gel-filled snap connectors. Take active wire from station 1. Green will be the colour for our terminal number 1 on the controller. Remove the insulation from the cable on the solenoid coil. The two wires are inserted into the snap connector from behind. Most connectors are designed to take 0.5 meter square cable. So we don't need to remove the outer sheeting on the control cable, but on the solenoid valve. We need to trim to minimize the amount of exposed wire to the elements to stop any corrosion. Using pliers or strippers, take off the excess wire. It's easier to show the connectors in use upside down, where you can see the cable go in as far as possible, beyond the connecting strip that's housed inside the fitting. Push down on the snap connector with the pliers, so the red cap is flush inside the connector. You will see the gel that comes up through the shaft of the connector, so it is watertight and electrically connected. Repeat this process with the remaining two valves. Once you've completed, move on to the three common wires. Group the three common wires from the solenoids to the common wire, black or white, from the irrigation cable. This will be connected to your controller 